Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user asked me what would happen if we cut out these letters, printed them in another color, and then fixed them in place. I've got a way to do it, so my friends, let's get cracking! Alright, so the main point of this lesson was for me to be able to walk throughout my classroom and see everybody's names. But if you really wanted to print these, here's a few things I would do. First, I'm going to ungroup it. I'm going to take the triangular roof. I'm going to do Control D to duplicate it. I'm going to take that second one, and I'm going to move it down 3 millimeters. If you don't get negative 3 automatically, you can just type it and press Enter. I'm going to then make it a hole, and that way when I group those two pieces, I have got less plastic to print. Still got a nice straight edge to print off of, but that is an awesome way to save plastic, yet still get it cut out. Now the user wanted to cut this name out and then stick it inside. So let me show you how I would make that work we need a second copy of our name that we can set on the work plane for printing. Start by clicking the work plane and clicking on the shape that we have it sitting on. Then do control C for copy. Once you've done that, click back on your blue work plane and when you do control V, check that out. It flattens it out to the work plane where you wanted to paste it. Then we need to take this one that is on the face of our shape. We need to hit the work plane button and we need to match the work plane. Make this a little thicker and make it a hole. And then here's where it gets magical. We can just push it through and we're ready to cut it out. See how it pokes through that side? Because we've got this work plane and I'm gonna set my grid to point one. If you watch here, I'm gonna do control up and up is this way on the work plane and we can see that pushes forward so that it is still cutting through but is not into the back letters. When we group this it will be all ready for cutting out except for one big issue. Uh, you can see that this piece of the E is going to be dangling which will be a problem. Wow those are some weird artifacts. I'm not sure what happened right there. I'm gonna ungroup that and redo it because I don't think that's real. I think it's just a weird visual effect. Or, you know what? I had two of those words there. Watch this. If I hide that hole, there is another set of mic. And that's what was causing the problem. So I'm going to hit delete. I had a few of them sitting there. Jiminy crickets. So now when we do show all, I've just got my hole. It's cutting through. Now when we group it, there you can see that is beautiful just like I expected it to be, but this piece is going to be floating in thin air. Now here's the nice thing. We can push this in here and the actual hole will look pretty classy anyhow. So I am just going to cut out this little piece with a round roof. Watch this technique. Set it where I want to cut. Bring out the new round roof. Orient it the way that I need. If you stay close, it's easy to to flip to that 90 degree, make it a hole, and then I'm going to just use the black handles to line that up so it's going to cut away that center of the E. I don't have to be perfect, I just have to not cut into the stuff I want to keep. That's going to be perfect, and group it. And now, when I pasted this in, or pounded it in with a hammer, that hole for the E would be fine. Alrighty friends, well just for giggles, I did that same I did that same trick where I copied and pasted it up here so we could actually see what it looked like in place. If you are really printing these, you'll have to drop this one down to the edge. You'll have to take this one and hide it, and then you can export the separate pieces so you can print them on your printer. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Keep those comments coming. Have a great night.